Okay, we have to evaluate the integral of 1 by x log x log squared x log cube x, etc., etc., up to log to power nx dx. So the first thing we observe is that the derivative of log x with respect to x is 1 by x. That explains the x in the de uh, denominator, but not the log x, not the log squared x either, not the other terms that appear in the denominator. But f just consider that we had log of log x. We are finding the derivative of that with respect to x. Then using the chain rule, that would be the derivative of log of log x with respect to log x, multiplied by the derivative of log x with respect to x, which would give us 1 by log x into 1 by x. And so now we can see that if we have a, a composite function, we are able to get the other terms in the denominator. So now let us start with log to power n plus 1 x equal to t. So that means t is equal to log of log to power nx. So now finding the derivative of t with respect to x using the chain rule, I will get 1 by log to power nx into the derivative with respect to x of log to power nx. And now I write log to power nx as log of log to power n minus 1x. And again using the chain rule, I get 1 by log to power n minus 1x into the derivative with respect to x of log to power n minus 1x. Again, I write log to power n minus 1x as log of log to power n minus 2x. And then finding the derivative there, I get 1 by log to power n minus 2x into the derivative with respect to x of log to power n minus 2x. Continuing in this manner, I would be able to get that dt by dx is equal to 1 by log to power nx into log to power n minus 1x into log to power n minus 2x, etc., etc., into log x. And finally, the derivative of log x with respect to x, which is 1 by x. And so I get dt is equal to the entire integrand, as I had earlier. And so i would be equal to the integral of dt, which is just t. And so that becomes log to power n plus 1x plus c.